So today is a pretty big day. Well, it's not so much a big day. It's more of a significant day. I've always been, growing up, I've always been a massive, a massive Apple fanboy. I've always had their computers. I've always had their phones. I've, I've had an iPod. I've just always used Apple products until today. Everything changes from today. I'm at Curry's this morning. I'm here to pick up a new laptop because the MacBook Air that I've currently got has just died. So unfortunately, I need to buy a new laptop. All right, this is the one that I'm looking at. It is the Dell XPS 15. I think this is the one. This is the smaller version, but I think it's better to go for the bigger one. I decided to go for the bigger model of this Dell laptop because I thought, you know, the primary use of this is gonna be video editing. And if I have a bigger screen, it's gonna be better for editing. Quite a few people have said that I shouldn't have changed back to PC because I'm so used to the Mac interface. However, I've been using this desktop PC for quite some time now, so I think I'm fairly familiar with the with the PC interface and how Windows works and how the editing software works in Windows. I know all the keyboard shortcuts for, for a PC, so I feel like this switch isn't gonna be too drastic. And also my friend Lawrence, who's been in the vlog a couple of times, he uses this laptop and he does a lot of video editing, a lot of photo editing, and he highly recommended it to me also. <coughs> Anyway, that is all oh, his chairs wet. I'm just gonna perch on the edge of it. Anyway, that's enough talk of laptops today. Over the past couple of days, I've kind of learned how and what makes my ankle sore. And I kind of find if I can keep, if I can keep my ankle in a straight line, sort of vertically, it doesn't really hurt. It's when my knee drifts away from my ankle, if that makes sense. That's where it starts to put pressure on that ligament. But if I keep my leg straight, I don't really feel any pain at all. So I figured I would go out for a quick pedal. This way we elevate my heart rate, increase the blood flow, which is only gonna help the recovery. Now I'm under strict instructions from Georgia that if it hurts even the slightest bit, I have to stop instantly. So this is by no means a hard ride, by no means a training session. It's just a quick little spin to test the leg. And also it will help me keep my sanity because I hate not riding. But I also know I have to be super careful. I can very, very easily here do a lot more damage than I currently have done. That ligament's already weak at the minute. It's already strained. I can very, very easily end up tearing it and end up doing some serious permanent damage, which is why we're gonna take it ridiculously easy. But just look how wide I've tied my shoelaces on this side and how narrow they are on this side. That just shows, even though I thought it had all gone, there is still a little bit of swelling in my ankle. I've been riding for a little bit and so far I can conclude that when I can keep, when I can keep my knee tracking down to my foot straight, when it's completely vertical, I don't feel any pain at all. So as long as I stay seated, because if I get out of the saddle, my, my knee's obviously going from side to side slightly. That's quite painful. So as long as I stay seated and don't pull up on my leg, because that's also painful, I feel all right, surprisingly good. This is my first ride in four or five days, and I'm just so happy to be back on the bike. I'm only out today on the recommendation of my physio who said, you just go out and take it real easy and see how you feel. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have ridden. I'm not gonna push it today. I'm only gonna do 45, 50 minutes at the most. Nice and steady, gonna keep it in the little ring. There is a race on this weekend, but obviously with, with this incident now, I'm not racing, so. I'm not training for anything, I don't need to ride hard. I just need to focus on getting better. So I picked out like a 45 minute route and um, because, my, because I was feeling good, I decided to stick another 15 minutes on and put it up to an hour. If you've been following the vlog, I've had a cold recently and I start training back when the cold hasn't fully gone and then I just train and make myself worse and then the cold comes back. You get what I'm talking about. Anyway, for this, I really don't want to. I really don't want to rush it back. This is much more serious than having a cold. There can be some seriously long-term implications of damaging a ligament. So I'm really happy that I'm feeling this good. But the fact that I have to keep my knee straight and I have to stay in the saddle and I can't pull up kind of indicates that there's a bit of a problem there. So I've just realised something there as I was riding in. To clip out, obviously I've got to twist my ankle out of the out of the pedal. And it felt a little bit painful then when I went to try. Ah, it's okay, it's all right. 
So in two days time, I'm heading out to Mallorca for a holiday with Georgia. She hasn't been in the vlog that much recently because she's been at home over the summer working slash sorting out stuff for university, which has meant we haven't really spent that much time together. So I'm looking forward to spending some time with her in Spain. But if anyone happens to be out in Mallorca next week and you fancy going for a ride, just slide into my DMs. But that's the end of today's video and I will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m.